Greetings, friends. I'm Dr. Dwayne McKee, president of Adventist World Radio. What we do is all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. I'd like to share with you, let's go right to the Bible, to Acts chapter chapter 2. This is the day of Pentecost. This is the beginning. This is the launch of the Christian church. Peter's preaching. You remember this very well. Here in chapter 2, verse 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know surely that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. And now when they heard this, they, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you will receive the Holy Spirit. That was the launch of the Christian church. It was centered around the thrust, actually around the, the great commission that Jesus said, go preach and teach and baptize. And that's what we're about. That's what Adventist World Radio is about, broadcast to baptism. And that's what we're about as the Christian church, as the Seventh-day Adventist church, to go and preach and teach and baptize. Our, our theme is, I will go. I will go. Adventist World Radio adds to that with the TMI portion, boots on the ground. We, we see things happening all around the world because of those boots on the ground. I, I just heard a story about a man down in Venezuela. He was driving in his car and he came up on a terrible accident. He jumped out of his car. He went down and looked at, at the car and saw these dead people laying in the car and thinking, what should I do? And all of a sudden a crowd gathered and they said, you're responsible. And they started beating him. He said, no, it's not me, it's not me. And beat him, they beat him. And they took him to the nearby bridge, threw him over the bridge. He hit the rocks below. They thought they had killed him. Another man, saw what had happened, made his way down to the, the body of water underneath the bridge, found this bleeding, dying man, picked him up, took him to the hospital like the Good Samaritan. And as he's recuperating in the hospital, he can't figure out why this happened to him. It's crazy. And all of a sudden, this young lady comes in, quite an attractive young lady. She has a Bible and a big smile on her face. And she begins to talk to him about Jesus. He doesn't know Jesus. He's kind of hurt a bit. As a child, his mother used to tell him some stories, but he really didn't know Jesus. And this young lady came every day with the Bible and introduced him to God and to the message and to Jesus. Finally, weeks went by and he got better and he was ready to be discharged. And as he was checking out, he said, I want to see that young lady that comes to my room every day and tells me about Jesus. And they said, what are you talking about? <laughs> he says, no, 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 I want to see this young lady. And they said, no one. Well, she's a nurse. We don't have a nurse like that. He was so puzzled. Actually, he went back several times to the hospital, looking around to see if he could see her. She wasn't there. The, the, the nurse, this, this young lady, had told him about Jesus, had told him about going to church on the Sabbath. And so Sabbath came, and she, he made his way to the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and they were having a series of AWR meetings. He sat and he listened. He watched the videos of Cammie preaching, and he was so excited. He then later on kept going to the meetings, said to the pastor, I want to be baptized. And the pastor says, well, you need to keep coming to the meetings, then you need to have special Bible studies. What, what do you mean? Well, you don't know what we believe. And he said, ask me, ask me. And then he tells the pastor about the nurse. And so the pastor asked him, he knows everything, <laughs> everything. And he was baptized. Isn't that amazing? Boots on the ground, Adventist Wood Radio. I will go, go where God asks us to go. We're all about sharing that gospel. This great commission that Jesus gave us, gave to Peter, Peter preached it. <laughs> the Christian church is born into evangelism, into soul winning. And Mark Finley, he likes to say, God had only one son and he was an evangelist. All of us are evangelists because God has called us to go and preach and teach and baptize. That great commission. My grandmother, great grandparents came from Germany. And, and they went to a series of meetings in Oklahoma where they had homesteaded in, in 1889. And in 98, they went to these meetings and they learned about Jesus and they were baptized. My grandmother, a few years later, it was during the Great Depression, 1929, 1930, and so on. She began to raise up a church in a little town in Kearney, a population of 300. My grandmother raises up a church. <laughs> That's right. She, actually, during the Depression, she buys a farm 
pays for the farm. Many people lost their farms. She pays for the farm with milk and eggs and hard work with the children. And, they were, and then she raises up this Seventh-day Adventist church right there in that town. And my other grandmother, my father's side, and grandfather, they all came to the meetings and they were baptized, all baptized. It was so exciting and thrilling. Kathy's grandfather up in North Dakota, Chris Lang, had a farm and just like my grandparents, and, but he started preaching and going from town to town and house to house and starting meetings. See, he would work on the farm in the spring, in the summer and harvest time. And then after that, he would take the winter and take a friend of his, his cousin, and they would go and raise up churches all across North Dakota. Our grandparents were evangelists because they were, they were fulfilled. And that's in our blood. We've seen it in Africa. We saw 100,000 people baptized in the Kasai province and the in Africa, as people started coming, you heard of that story. Thrilling and exciting. We've seen 100,000 baptized in Rwanda with the TMIAWR projects. I will go. God calls each one of us to fulfill that great commission. Shall we pray together? Father in heaven, thank you for what you're doing around the world. Thank you for our experience. Thank you for AWR. Thank you for the, the general conference's focus on I will go. Bless each of us. Help us to be courageous and help us to go as we're able to and fulfill the gospel commission in Jesus' name, amen.